Hey, what's going on, everybody? Um, and I'm excited to you know hop on here for a few quick webinar today, like 10 minutes, and we're gonna you know knock this thing out. Um, just a couple of things that I've been kind of work and help you out, um, you know, as well. You know, the, the last couple of weeks, um, you know, I've been really just you know studying a lot um of different things and you know what i've been kind of realizing and you know a lot of people have started to tell me this and you know i'm really starting to get it now is instead of like you know you know books on you know skills of you know okay we, we need to get better at this skill and how to invite like you know i know pretty much you guys know how to invite and you know we know how to do the skills but um you know what I'm realizing is we're you know we have to look back at all of our backgrounds at before we came into this business you know we have to look at uh, um, you know where our mind was before we even got into this business like looking at okay before we were in this business you know most of us were taught the you know traditional route of how things are done you know go to school get good grades go to college get a job get a great you know career going and you know have a family and you know live happily ever after and you know what i've been realizing is that's been programmed so much in our heads for so many years growing up and you know growing into all the ages that we are now that it takes a lot of reprogramming to fix the way that we think and what I was realizing is we live in a, we work in a business that requires our performance comes from how we're thinking up here. And so we could change our performance. You could change your level of performance by adding more of the good stuff into your head. And it's based on the way that we think. And so instead of, you know, cause I've been, I was reading all the time books on how to get better at the skills and you know, the, the content when, I need to, we need to develop more on ourselves and our mind because when we could, you know, level the emotional levels of the business of, you know, not the up and down emotions and be more, you know, focused on, you know, what our goals are clearly, you know, what our objectives are and from the inside of what we truly are, you know, looking to accomplish here. Um, you know, it's, it's going to pull us towards our goals more so than, you know, just being so much about ourselves. Like we have to learn more about ourselves for ourselves to exceed in this business. So, you know, I, I was listening to Holton Bugs. Um, he has a good audio. I'd recommend, you know, you guys listening to it. Holton Bugs, uh, expand your mind. It's on, and he really talks about, you know, how, all of us have grown up with these certain ideals in our subconscious mind that suppress the the entrepreneur to be that we want to become and they put these thoughts of you know i'm not meant to be an entrepreneur i'm not meant to be successful with this i'm not meant to do this or you know i'll never be make the big dollars or i'm supposed to have a job society looks down on me i'm not you know in the right profession because of what society's made me to think and so we have to really work on you know what we've been receiving in our minds and re put a new like imprint in our head and our subconscious mind and it just takes repetition and that's what i've been really working on and realizing because you know there's i realized like you know i fe i felt bad when like somebody i didn't know or like you know, family friend would ask, so what do you do for work? And you know, I'm network mark, I'm in network marketing, like, and not feel even like confident about it. And so it's like, you know, there there's a problem that we're to society, so it becomes that way because the way that we think it's going to be perceived is how it's going to end up being perceived. So we have to really work on in here for everything out here to change. And so, you know, that's what I've been kind of working on. I felt like that was, you know, something of value to, you know, add to you guys, you know, so holding bugs, expand your mind. It was a good, um, it's a good audio to listen to. It's on YouTube. Um, and so, um, you know, that's one of the big things. And then another thing, um, you know, side you know second point here is talking about recruiting up um 
you know, looking at contacts that we have and the chicken list, the chicken list of the contacts that we have and you know, the people that we haven't contacted because we're too scared. Um, we're too scared um, to contact those people. And so, you know, we have to look at, you know, that, that the list of people that, um, you know, we're scared to talk to and then think about why we're scared. You know, it's most of the time because they are successful. There's somebody maybe we look up to, they're people that, you know, are doing well in their profession. And, you know, uh, Todd Falcone is the one who challenged my thoughts on this. Of, you know, he talks about why would you not recruit up? Why would you not want to go after the successful people? Because successful people at one thing typically are going to go be successful at another thing. So what we have to realize is that for us to be successful, you know, we can't go recruit, you know, the bottom of the barrel people. Like if you, you know, if he's Todd Falcon talks about, there's two options. If you could only recruit two different types of people and one of them, was you know realtors that are used to commission sales used to getting paid on their results used to working their own hours or or on the other hand a fast food employee and fast food employee works hourly expects a steady paycheck gets told what to do doesn't you know does just enough to get by most of the time to get you know their paycheck you know who would you want to be recruiting it obviously it makes more sense for the realtor but when you put it in perspective it's you know it's a little bit different um so it's like the on this this you know the real trend you know they're already used to what we get paid on they're used to getting paid only if they get a result the mcdonald's worker or you know whatever worker you have to transition so much in here you have to take them from employee to entrepreneur the realtor's already in almost entrepreneur if you can show them the value they could see that they could see um you know the opportunity and so you know that's just really you know talking about recruiting up um because we want to recruit people that are good because you know people that are you know attractive meaning not just not physical appearance but the way they present themselves people that are sharp people that you know have influence people that you know are, are in those categories build relationships with them you know what i've been working on doing is i've been meeting a lot of different people over the last like couple of weeks and like almost a month now and i've been building a lot of relationships with sharp business motivated people and you know, just getting to know them, understanding, you know, what gets them excited so that I could, you know, learn. So then when I approach them, I could approach them with the right, with the right thing. And so, you know, that, that's really about today. You know, number one, understand we have to change what's going into here to change what we see out here. And, you know, a lot of different audios to do that with, you know, focusing on yourself, not skills, focus on yourself. Like you're finding out more, learning more about yourself. Second thing was recruiting up. Looking at the people with people that have influence, successful already, you know, motivated, you know, self-employed, preferably already, you know, looking at those we want to go after to recruit because they're going to already be in that same kind of mindset as they build this business too. Um, so that's pretty much it for me. Obviously, I'm going to be talking about this for all the way leading up to it. October Munich convention. Um, make sure plans to be there. And again, for every one person you get to a major convention, adds a thousand dollars to your annual income for that year. So. You know how many people you want to have at this convention and you know let's really crush it i know you know a few of you on here are coming to um convention in the us and phoenix in two weeks so i'm gonna see all of you guys soon um you know lots of plan you know something fun for all of us to do i'm staying at the hyatt so those of you guys that are staying there you know i wanted to stay so i could hang out with all of you um but you know, with that, you know, if you have questions about anything, you know, obviously I'm here to help, you know, let's have a productive week. Um, shout out real quick to, you know, Eric, um, you know, for the things that he has going on with, you know, this new group in Tromso, if I pronounce that right. Um, 
you know, lots of new growth going on out there. And then shout out to Vigard, you know, new affiliate pack on Friday, you know, excited, already did this, their first home event Saturday. So proud of all of you. I excited to see you guys that are coming in Phoenix in a couple of weeks. And, you know, let's have a great week. Talk to all of you soon.